<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Happy, uh, what day is it? It is, do you have an idea of what I'm gonna talk about in a second? <laughs> I'm on my jump sport trampoline. Um, uh, and it's later in the day, which is why I'm over in this weird place because it's the only place that I have light on. Even though all the lights are on in my place, this is the best lighting we can do. Hopefully I won't fall down my stairs. It's a uh, Thursday. You know, with the holiday and everything. Kind of um, totally out of it as far as to what day it is. So there. But here I am, trying not to fall. <laughs> um, and um, I brought out my jump sport fitness trampoline for a couple of reasons. Number one, because I'm overdue in, in telling you a little bit more about it. Um, and number two, it's going to be part of my cardio. So today, I was kind of not feeling great. So it's evening and I'm doing my cardio, which y'all know I really don't like doing my cardio at night. It's just a preference. Um, and, and I'm, that's why, another reason I'm shooting this vlog is just to let you know, like, hey, when it gets to the end of the day, when you're old like me, <laughs> you get to this part of the day and you're like, oh, I just want to chill out. Especially on a day like today, when it is, you guys, Sunday it was 97 in Chicago. Today I have my freaking heat on. I'm not even lying. I have my heat on. So, um, it's cold, it's rainy. I was walking around with my Uggs on today and I'm like, what month is it? Seriously? I, I was just like sweating my ass off on Sunday and now it's like this. So anyway, I'm standing right now. Obviously I can't, um, I can't show you the whole Jump Sport Fitness trampoline, but I am gonna tell you. As I mentioned before, um, they were kind enough to send me, and, and this was from originally Carla Misfit Online. M-I-Z-F-I-T-O-N-L-I-N-E, Misfit Online. It was her idea, and I was like, trampoline, really? You know, maybe it'd be you know, cute for some kids, I know. Um, but why would it be, you know, I just thought, it's not gonna, it might be fun, but I'm never gonna use it, and it certainly isn't gonna do anything for me fitness-wise, let me just tell you. Have you ever bought um, fitness equipment and whether I don't know, it's a treadmill or some kind of gadget and you think you're going to use it, it looks amazing, or it could be even a cooking gadget, right? And then it just sits there and you put it away and you never touch it. This is one of those things, it's pretty big once you set it up. Um, it's not something that you can like tuck under your bed like they say you can do with a Bowflex, which we all know you can't do. I used to have one of those and I sold it because it got on my nerves. Sorry. You can't help but just want to bounce on this thing. Um, but anyway, this thing is is sizable. Um, and, and I'll show, let's see, how wide would I say it is? Probably three feet wide um, in diameter. Um, but I find that I was, you know, you guys are making fun of me. I actually keep it, now granted, I'm getting ready to move. So I'm, I'm being a little bit more forgiving with how messy my house is right now. Um, but I keep it actually in my bedroom because I find that sometimes like I'll walk in there and I'll hop up on it and like just bounce up and down for like three or four minutes. And I'm telling you guys, it really surprised me how much you get your heart rate up there. I am not going to jump as high as I jump and do my tuck jumps and everything on this vlog because <laughs> I can just imagine if I did that, I'd probably go flying off and break my head. Um, that was stupid, you can't break your head. You know what I mean. It's been a long day. Uh, but all that said, I have it here and um, I'm going to do a cardio workout. And what I'm planning to do today, and I'm sharing this for several reasons. I brought it out because, again, hopping on this thing and either just jumping up and down, and I, I did, I've tested this out with my heart rate monitor, really gets your um, heart up there, heart rate up there. And then secondly, when you do things like tuck jumps, then it really adds to your um, your cardio factor. By the way, Mr. Flow, there you go, Mr. Flow. See, so you can't really see it up here because I'm high. Um, also, this is a really good soundtrack. I know I told you guys that before, but um, it's the soundtrack from um, Real Steel. Really good music. But uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do for my cardio, because A, I don't feel like doing a whole hour. Number two, uh, most of Val's workouts for cardio, she's not encouraging you to go for an hour. She's, it's more about, you know, the 20, 30 minutes, but it's, um, you do more high intensity plyo interval training. And a couple of things, you guys know, one of my new BFFs is um, Jay Cardiello, who I met in New York. This is his new book. I thought I was falling. It's also weird, like why is it when I go here, there seems to be more light. Isn't that weird? 
Who knows? Oh, because there's a light right there. This is freaky. Anyway, in this book, I didn't even realize this when he gave this to me, and I was leafing through it over the weekend, and I realized he, uh, this entire, his entire book and all of the workouts in here are done with absolutely no equipment. And y'all know that I have shared this when we're talking about traveling, and you know, people go, I can't work out, I didn't bring any equipment, I didn't bring my workout stuff, I can't do a workout. This entire book, and this is somebody who trains my boyfriend, 50 Cent, among other Hollywood heavyweights. Um, this is, that doesn't necessarily mean that when he trains those people, he never uses equipment. But, you know, Jay is pretty badass, and this is an entire workout with just body weight exercises. I mean, there's um, scissors on here, get ups, uh, scarecrow matrix. I mean, like, look, you know, these are some of the circuits on here. Lots of, you know, a lot of these are just sprinter jacks, squat holds, alternating knee grabs, high kicks. Um, get ups in just tons of different things that you can do with body weight only so don't make excuses get creative and furthermore we talked about this before why do we have this out this is my iPad obviously and I'm going to be first of all setting up putting in my password um, I'm going to write out on my piece of paper what I'm going to have my interval circuit be so that I know exactly what I'm doing each minute. Now what I'm planning on doing is I use, I, I have to tell you, I love this, the Bit Timer. Um, so it's an app on my iPad, Bit Timer. And as you can see, now of course I'm going to make it bigger, um, but the top, that's going to be your um, how long your interval is. This is going to be your rest and this is how many times it'll go through. And it's really easy to switch. You can get your work amount up to four minutes, I believe. So if I wanted to, I could do four minutes of work, you know, and then up to, I think, four minutes of rest. Um, but what I'm going to do today is 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and I'm going to do that for 20 minutes. So that would be whatever, how many times. Um, and then what I'm going to do first, oh, I need to shut this off. So that's the timer I use, and then it's nice because I just plop it up against my, if, my counter. Um, and then I'm going to pick my moves first. Um, whether they're going to be plyo jacks, running up and down the stairs, uh, burpees. Let me tell you, you can obviously get a kick-ass workout in. And then I'm also going to use tuck jumps on here on the um, jump sport. So tuck jumps um, and then maybe some regular jumps. Oh, my hair is coming out. Um, and then, you know, just a bunch of, there's so many different things that you can do. I mean, if you think back to... For those of you that have done uh, P90X or you have any of the one-on-ones with Tony Horton, there's great moves in there. Just freaking make up some. I mean, I did that whole video as a joke, but it was the truth. You know, I said, how to burn calories in your bedroom. And it was just a, sh a video of my feet, but I was the whole point I was making was, like, even if you're in an area this big, say you have a hotel room and you're in an area this big, you turn on the music and just jumping up and down and changing the way that you are either doing jacks or running in place or walking or lunging, you can do all of that in one little area and really get your sweat on and really get your heart rate up and you're getting your cardio in. So, so there's no excuses. Um, there really aren't. I mean, my gosh, there's so many people that are, um, and I know some that are dealing with this right now. They're in the hospital. They're, they have uh, family in the hospital. Here we are going, oh, I don't feel like working out. Shame on me for ever saying I don't feel like working out because I'm healthy. I can walk around. I'm not dealing with some horrible um, you know, disease, everything that I ever complain about is really nothing compared to what everybody else is, is dealing with. So get creative and then, you know, the number one thing I urge you to do, because I have made this mistake in the past, is if you are going to do what I'm saying, you're going to make up your own circuit, write it out. Because <laughs> if you think, oh, I'll just go in and I'll just, you know, make it up as I go along, you can still have all those things in your head. You can have a million different exercises and moves that you want to do in your head. And, and we all do, but sometimes, once you get in the motion, you can forget and go, what am I going to do next? And then once you stop, especially when you're supposed to be doing either like a Tabata or a HIIT workout or a really intense interval workout, if you stop, that's, you're ruining the whole point. It's kind of like saying, I'm going to be doing an Atkins diet, and then, you know, half of the day you're eating carbs. You're not really doing an Atkins diet. So do it, do it right, pre-plan it, fail to plan, plan to fail. That's all I have to say about that. So, um, again, if you're going to ask me what I say about the um, jump sport fitness trampoline, I 
love it. I really do. I love it a lot more. Um, I am excited that in my new house I have um, some more room so that I can keep it. Um, I don't have a basement in my new place, but I do have a much bigger garage, and that's going to be um, kind of like a, a, a gym extension. Um, so I will be able to keep this bad boy out. But it's definitely something that I am um, I enjoy, and it's. It's fun. It's fun. You don't feel like, you know, it doesn't feel like hopping on the treadmill, but it's really fun. And again, it's kind of cool to throw that into uh, the middle of a workout and get your heart rate up. And then you feel like you're a kid. Of course, I act like a kid every day, so there's that. I gotta go. I almost said happy Monday, but it's Thursday. So it's almost the weekend again, and I have a whole week's worth of work to do all in one day tomorrow. See you tomorrow.